Hello, AAF kids. It is time for our warm up. A little mini trig table. So you might want to pause and copy this trig table down in your um, warm up book. See what you can fill out without me. Then start it back up and see if you're okay. Alright? I'll give you a minute to do that. Alright. Notice that. I'm asking you for, I can ask you for degrees, or I can ask you for radians, and that won't change my answer, right? It's just the language that I'm talking, it's the language I ask the question in, but the answer will be the same. The sine of 30 degrees is the same as the sine of pi over 6. Remember, for 30 degrees, that's asking so for the y value, y is sine, x is cosine, y over x is tangent. So the 30 degree triangle, remember, from the center, if you radiate only 30 degrees up the circumference of the circle, the short side is the y value, and the longer side is the x value. So sine of 30 or sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Cosine is root 3 over 2. And tangent is root three, 1 half over root 3 over 2, which is 1 over root 3. I'm going to skip the 45 column and go to the 60 column since these are 60 degree columns since 30 and 60 are complementary angles, right? For the 60 degree triangle, you only go a short distance in the x and you radiate up 60 degrees. So your y value is larger and your x value is shorter. And this time it's root 3 over 2 over 1 half, which is root 3 over 1, or just root 3. So if I say what's the tangent of 5 pi over 3, you got, you can tell me. If I say what's the tangent of 60 degrees, you can tell me. You can also tell me any angle that has a reference arc of pi over 6, pi over 6, or pi, pi over 4, pi over 3, right? Just know which quadrant I'm in. Remember, 45 degrees is where the x and the y are the same because you're radiating Forty-five degrees. And if the x coordinate and the y coordinate, or the y height and the x length, are the same, then a ratio of those two numbers is just one. While we're at it, let's go ahead and fill in the reciprocal values. Right? So the cosecant of pi over 6 is 2. The secant of pi over 6 is 2 over root 3. And the cotangent of pi over 6 is root 3. And so is any arc with a reference arc of pi over 6, just with different SIGN. So of course over here we just have the complementary 2 over root 3, 2, and 1 over root 3. The tangent of pi over 3 is 1 over root 3. The secant of 60 degrees is 2. And then for cosecant, there we go. Now, let's review our boundary angles and arcs. Remember, the boundaries are the 
positive and negative x-axis as well as the positive and negative y-axis. Those are our boundaries. 0 degrees and 360 goes with 0 radians and 2 pi radians. The sine, the y-coordinate, the x-coordinate, and the ratio of y to x. At 0 degrees, right, At zero degrees, what is the y coordinate? And the x coordinate? And the ratio of zero to one is zero. Ninety degrees sine is one cosine is 0, tangent is 1 over 0, and any time you divide by 0, that's undefined. 180 degrees, or pi. The y-coordinate is also 1, but the x-coordinate is negative 1, and the ratio of 0 to negative 1 is still 0. But to 70 degrees, sine is negative 1, cosine is 0, the ratio of y to x has 0 in a denominator, which is undefined. So the tangent on the y-axis, tangent on the y-axis where y is 0, is undefined. Now, what about the reciprocals? It's important for reciprocals, right? If you want to think about it this way, this is zero. Remember, is technically it's y over the radius, but remember our radius is one, so this is technically zero over one. What's the reciprocal of zero over one? Yep, one over zero, which is, of course, undefined. What's the reciprocal of one? What's the reciprocal of zero again? For 90 degrees, reciprocal of one is one. Reciprocal of zero is undefined. What is the reciprocal not of undefined? Undefined doesn't have any reciprocal. But this was the undefined came from one over zero. What is the reciprocal of one over zero? Zero over one. So remember this is technically 0 over 1, so, it, um, so its reciprocal is undefined. The reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. The reciprocal of 0 is undefined. The cosecant of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, but the secant of 3 pi over 2 is undefined. The cotangent of 3 pi over 2 is not the reciprocal of undefined. There's no such thing. There's a reciprocal of negative 1 over 0, though, which is 0 over negative 1 or zero. So those are all my boundary angles and arcs. Notice tangent is undefined on the y-axis boundaries and right, tangent is undefined there and zero on the x-axis, right? The x-axis would be 0 and 180, and tangent is 0 there. All right. Now get out your notes, please. So, in your notes, here is an S-I-G-N memory trick. I want you to think positive, right? In the first quadrant, 
when I'm talking about sine, cosine, and tangent. And then, of course, I can get the reciprocals once I have sine, cosine, and tangent. All values are positive. Sine, because sine is positive, cosine is positive, and tangent is a ratio of two positives. However, in the second quadrant, remember x, which is cosine, cosine is negative, sine is positive, and what about tangent? Tangent is a ratio of, si of a positive to a negative, so therefore tangent is negative. So in the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, both cosine and sine are negative, but what's the ratio of two negatives? That's right. Only tangent is positive in the third quadrant. And lastly, in the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive, sine is negative, Tangent is a ratio of a negative to positive, which would be a negative, so only cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Some ways you can remember this. Famous mnemonic device. All students take calculus. Right? All students take calculus. All trig values are positive. Only sine value is positive. Only tangent is positive if I'm in the third quadrant. Only cosine is positive if I'm in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so that is just a little sign memory trick. Now you know all six trig or circular values for all the special angles of my unit circle, including the boundaries, right? Pi over 4, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, and pi, and all their values in every quadrant. Quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Woohoo! Now let's put these to use. Now you're going to, without a calculator, evaluate trig expressions. That means it's not an equation. You are not solving trig, trig equations. You are evaluating trig expressions. So this is your objective. And here's example one. Cosine pi over 4 times tangent of 5 pi over 3. If you want, you can think of these as being inside parentheses. So you're supposed to evaluate both of these. Cosine pi over 4. Think, look at the chart. You just made your warm-up. Right? What is the cosine of pi over 4? I'm in the first quadrant. Pi over 4 goes with 1 over root 2. So I say to myself, self, cosine of pi over 4 goes with a 1 over root 2. I'm in quadrant 1, therefore everybody is positive. Now think about not 5 pi over 3, think about just pi over 3. Tangent of pi over 3 is root 3, but what quadrant is 5 pi over 3's, remember that's 5 60's, 5 60's, right, is in the fourth quadrant, and tangent in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. So my answer is negative root, root 3 over root 2. So, how about the next one? 
cosine of pi over 4 oops, sorry cosine of pi over 4 we just had that one I'm in quadrant 1 pi over 4 goes with 1 over root 2 when you're dealing with cosine what is tangent of pi over 2 right pi over 2 is on the positive y-axis what do we talk about tangent on the positive y-axis tangent is right I think to myself hmm here I am, positive y-axis. What are the coordinates there? 0, 1. So tangent of pi over 2 is the ratio of y to x, right? This is cosine comma sine. That's what, Oh, wait, that's undefined. Undefined times I don't care is undefined. Once you have one undefined in one part of your trig expression, you are done. You cannot combine undefined with anything. You can't multiply it, you can't distribute it, can't add, can't subtract it, can't divide, can't nothing. So you try these. Okay, and again, you might want to pause um, my video and see how many you can do on your own, and then come back and watch me do them. Okay? All right, so hopefully you have done some of these. Cosine of 180. Cosine goes with x, so 180 is right there, right, 180 degrees, the x value is negative 1. Cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2, minus sine of 180, sine of 180 is 0, 0 times, who cares? is zero, right? I mean, as long as you're not undefined. So this is just negative one over root two. Check this out. Secant of pi over three. I don't know my secant values very well, but I know cosine. Cosine of pi over three, right? Cosine of 60, is what pi over three is asking me, is the x-coordinate. And then the secant is just the reciprocal of that, right? And you multiply multipli numbers that are multiplicative of identities. That's 1. Plus tangent of pi over 3 is root 3. What's the cotangent? The reciprocal, right? Root 3 times 1 over root 3. Oh, uh, that's 1. So this answer is 2. Sine of pi over 3 plus 6 times cosine pi over 4. Then this will be root 3 over 2 plus 6 over root 2. Now here's the thing. This answer probably isn't going to be there. Right? That's probably not going to be a multi... You, can, you need to combine these. To combine these, you need to get a common denominator. Watch this handy dandy trick. Isn't this a 1? So, root 3 over 2 plus 6 root 2 over... What's root 2 times root 2? Now, sine of 300, 300, this is where reference angles. What's the reference angle to 300? It's right, 60. What is the sine of 60? The sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, but what quadrant in a minute is 300 in? Quadrant 4 and only cosine is positive. What is the cosine of 60? Cosine of 60 degrees is one half, but 300, whose reference angle is 60, is in the fourth quadrant. Cosine is positive. So this is root 3 over 4 negatized. Check this out. Ah!
so there I'm in radians so in radians I'm going to do the second one secant remember is 1 divided up by cosine of pi over 3 Whoops. I divided by 3. That's secant of pi over 3. And then cosine times cosine of pi divided by 3. Oh, shocker! That's 1. Now, of course, which one is tangent of pi divided by 3? And then times cotangent, but cotangent is 1 divided by tangent of pi divided by 3. 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. How about if I'm in um, degrees? Let me change to degrees. Ah. Change to degrees. And let me say, uh, what yeah, is, what watch what happens when I try to, um, hey, John. No. Oh, sorry, never mind. What is that product? Negative 0.707. That's negative 1 over root 2. Now I'm going to say minus sine of 180 times sine of 45. Okay? Right, because with zero, right? How about sine of 300 times cosine of 300? the heck is that? Oh, I bet that's negative. Whoops. Oh, snap. Hey, what would happen if I tried to do one of the undefined, right? I don't remember what, what the problem was, but let's say I tried to do um, let's say I tried to do um, what sine 300, cosine 300, and then plus tangent of 90. Right, tangent of 90, what is that? Oh, error. And when I hit go to the error, it goes right there on tangent of 90. Right, if, some, if you have an undefined value, you can't add that. You can't undefi add undefined to anything. So I put a star beside this one. If you recognize reciprocals are being multiplied, not added, not subtracted, multiplied. Reciprocal values being multiplied together, you're going to get one, right? Multiplicative inverses. Right? That's nice to remember. Now remember I told you yesterday this little cute notation for squaring? Whenever you see that cute little squared thing in your head, you need to see this. Alright, and then you do the order of operations. What is the sine? Don't worry about the pi of 7 right now. What is the sine of pi over 6? The sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Now, how about 7 pi over 6s? 7 pi over 6s is in quadrant 3. Sine is negative. Shh, I didn't need to know that, really. 
How come it doesn't matter what the sign, S-I-G-N, of this value is? That's right, you're squaring it, so it doesn't really matter. Cosine of pi over 4, right? Pi over 4, I'm in the first quadrant, quadrant. cosine is 1 over root 2. Square it. So squaring 1 half gives me 1 fourth, positive. Squaring 1 over root 2 gets me 1 half. That's actually 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, which is 3 fourths. Woohoo! Check out this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Sine 7 pi over 6, we already figured out, was what? Negative, although it doesn't care, 1 half squared. What's the cosine of 7 pi over 6? Well, if the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, the cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2, and we already figured out we're in the third quadrant, so also negative, although I don't care because I'm squaring. What does this turn out to be? Positive 1 fourth plus positive 3 fourths, which is what? 1. Hold on a second. Hey, this is the sine of an angle, 7 pi over 6, squared, plus, actually let me do it this way, sine of the angle 7 pi over 6 squared, this is the cosine of that very same angle. So I can call it theta and square it, and I found out that equals 1. But remember on your unit circle, on your unit circle, any radius has the point x comma y, and we use triangles to show that that is cosine comma sine, right? So if sine is y, sine is y, and it's getting squared, plus cosine, which is x, and it's getting squared, x squared plus y squared is supposed to equal what? Yeah, because, why, why, why? Because this is a circle with a radius equal to what? And any point on the unit circle, which remember is really any circle ever, because you can say whatever radius it is, is one unit. The equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. That is the same thing as saying, though, sine squared of theta or x plus cosine squared of theta or x is equal to 1 O M G. Alright, so your homework is in the book, right, and it's a, just a bunch of trig um, expressions where you're just plugging and chugging. This practices your special angles as well, right? This is, I'm only, without a calculator, I'm only going to ask you multiples of the special angles or multiples of the boundaries, right? No calculator. You can use a calculator to check your answer like I did, but you need no, but this will all be tested on um, on, an, on a quiz without a calculator. All right. That oops, I forgot that I did this. Sign. Ah, gosh, darn it.
the sine of any angle squared plus the cosine of that same angle squared will be equal to 1. You will usually see that as sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta if you're in degrees or if you're in radians sine squared of x plus cosine squared of that very same x must equal 1. Be careful if I do this. Sine squared of 7 pi over 6 plus cosine squared of pi over 4. Does that equal 1? No, that's this problem, right? That's that problem. We did not get 1. That does not equal 1 because the two arcs are not the same. This identity only works if you have the same theta, which is degrees, or the same arc, which is x. All right, now I'm done. Have a good one.